What is up guys? Hope you have an amazing day. Zero is back with you again for another Brawl Stars video. And today we're being joined by a very special guest, none other than the man, the myth, the legend himself, Coach Corey. What is up? Hey man, how you doing? Doing good, doing good. Thank you so much for coming out on the channel today. No problem. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So we've got quite a few questions for you man brawl stars right now is kind of up and down they've been doing updates left and right and we're going to get your opinions on those and just kind of your overall view of brawl stars so what do you think about that of the updates so far yeah well, how you feel about the update i know they did a couple of them so th the past mm -hmm. update and the current balance changes how do you feel about just a general direction it's headed in yeah well i'm i'm really liking it to summarize but i think they're doing a great job overall um i don't think the community is ever happy with the frequency of updates but i i do think it was great that after they did the big update with the star powers they rolled out some quick updates not long after which i think was just a great way to show the community that, that they are listening yeah, I agree. And as far as your comment about the frequency of updates, the community definitely gets, you know, in an uproar sometimes because of the length of time between the updates. But I feel like they've packed quite a bit in and I think they did a good job. I think this past update, you know, kind of took a little bit of time, but I think there was a lot they had to put in. And all in all, I think they did a great job. I think so, too. And I think this is the model they want to follow as far as frequency of updates. And you're right, you know what, they're they're giving it good content, and we're not really game developers, so really, what do we know? We just want more content. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> the more, yeah. the better, man. I think so. Yeah, they're doing good. All right, well, I agree with that. So, I got a quick question for you, man. How often do you actually play Brawl Stars in your day? Uh, Good question. So, it definitely varies. I probably have some games, or some days, some days where I play, like, 30 minutes at most. And then I might have some days where I play like two hours. Gotcha. I probably, I probably end up playing a little over an hour a day. Okay. That's a good time. That's what I would say. And do you ever play with randoms or are you always playing with people in the band? Um, on my main account, I pretty much only play with people in the band, but I'll play with whoever in the band. And then uh, on my mini account, I pretty much always play with randoms. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Now, what what is your mini account's name? So people will know when they see you. Is it something obvious? I didn't know you had a mini account. Yeah, it's just Corey's mini. Corey's mini. Okay, so that should be yeah. easy enough to spot. And yeah. there's a there's I'm a like lot of three K trophies. Okay, awesome. So yeah, and there's a lot of fake Coach Corey. So definitely keep there your eye out now. for that. It's insane. You've blown I up, man. I didn't realize. <laughs> a couple of fake Corys. Yeah, you've made it. When when you have uh, fake so. fake names, you know you've made it. All right, so so the update. What's your favorite part of the update so far? Um, uh, yeah, this is always a tough question. I would have to say, I I always switch between star powers and friendly battles. Okay. I think, I think I'll have to go with friendly battles. Friendly battles. I yeah. agree. Friendly battles are definitely, and I was saying that in uh, actually my other channel earlier, friendly battles, it just adds so much depth to the game. There's so much you can do with them. It opens the doors for just insane possibilities. Exactly. And I didn't even think about all the different like types of different ways people play showdown in friendly battles. Oh, it's like, insane. That, that wasn't something I was expecting. Like, people are making up all these like weird game modes. Like, like 5v5 is the obvious one, but there's like protect the president. Uh, where like one person is the goal where they have their teammates have to protect that person. It was like crazy game modes. Absolutely. It's pretty fun. Yeah, people, it's insane what people have come up with. I can't wait to see what happens, you know, in the future because this is just the beginning, you know? Totally, exactly. All right, so I've got another question for you. During the update, they, uh, on top of just a lot of insane changes, they made it to where you can buy commons, rares, super rares, mythicals, everything but legendaries pretty much. Now, mm -hmm. do you feel like that's a good thing or a bad thing for the players and also the developers? Do you think it'll help the players and they should be happy about it? But also on the developer side, how do you think it'll affect them? Uh, yeah, I think it's overall a good thing. Um... Probably for both. I think they can get rid of some of the lower rarity boxes. Like you, I think you can buy a super rare, maybe. Which I'm, I'm guessing eventually they'll add a legendary box. But I don't know if they're waiting to have more legendaries or not. But 
I wouldn't I wouldn't spend your gems on that. Like it's not the most efficient way. But if you really want one of those cards, then you know why not? Gotcha. Yeah, I think they will add legendaries in the future, but it's it's kind of like you're saying. I think they need a a few more to be able to add that because it's not like Clash Royale. Once you get it, you've got it. Yeah. There's no there's no stacking. Right. Exactly. All right, so what do you think of these new game modes and the tickets, and, and what's your favorite game? I have an idea of what your favorite game mode is, <laughs> but I'm going to ask you, and we want to hear it from uh, from your mouth first. Yes. Um, yeah, well, I like it. I was At first, I was a little unsure of what I was going to think of the frequency of them, as far as you, know, you only get to play them two days a week, and you know you only get to play each game mode twice a month, uh, I guess four days a month. But so I was a little unsure of that, but I think I'm sort of at this point, I really don't have any complaints actually. I'm okay with, you know, just having it on the on the weekends, and then it's sort of like, okay, you know, I'm just gonna play it a bunch on the weekend, and then that's gonna be it, and that's fine. But And what I don't know yet. Yeah, no, I agree. That sounds like a that sounds like a game. What's your favorite game mode, okay? Yeah, my favorite game mode, you're right, it's it's Robo Rumble. Huh. Of course, no surprise, of course. Number one in the world. Congrats, man. What was that time? 10 minutes and how many seconds? It was 11 minutes. 11 minutes. In one second? Is that what it was? 11 minutes? Three That's seconds? Three seconds. It was, one. it was over 11 minutes. That's all that matters. Yeah. That yeah. is an insane time, man. Congratulations on that. Thank you. So, and when you did that, that was when Robo Rumble first came out, the first week it came out, and you yep. and you and your team kind of found uh, not necessarily a loophole, but the way it worked were robots wouldn't spawn where you're standing on the map, so you strategically placed yourselves where uh -huh. they would only spawn in one corner, and you could just mow them down with the composition you had. Now... Kudos to you and your team. I don't know who came up with that strategy, but that thing was insane, and it worked beautifully. Congrats on that. And if you came up with it, congrats. If someone else did, tell them congrats from myself and everyone here. But my question is, because after you did that, Supercell took a look, and they said, whoa, we, we've we got to change something. The Brawl Stars team changed it up, and now the robots only spawn on the farthest end of the map. So do you think that your time of over 11 minutes will ever be beaten now that the game mode has been changed? Mm, that's a good question. I'm hesitant to say that it won't because someone could prove me wrong. I think it's gonna be harder to do now because you're right. I don't think you can you can't control the spawns as well. So I I'm gonna have to say no probably. Okay, I I agree. I don't see now. Here's the thing. I guess I, I agree and I disagree. I agree because I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. The only time I see it happening is probably in the future once they release more brawlers or something like that. Yeah. Then, yeah, then I think there'll be a new comp or something will happen where maybe you can be dethroned, possibly, but that's right. not even a guarantee. So, congrats on that, man. You you slaughtered my time. I'm trying to uh, catch up to you and pass your time. Me and my team are at 8 minutes and 41 seconds currently. Just simply simply nothing compared to 11 plus minutes. Yeah, I think we're top 50 in the world right now, but definitely yeah, definitely eating the dust of everyone ahead of us. Sad to say. So, wow. yeah. <laughs> congrats again, man. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. So, the new game modes, they have Robo Rumble and they have Boss Brawl. Both very fun game modes. What what new game modes would you add? I know this is kind of putting you on the spot, so if you want to have an idea, you know, no big deal. But have you ever thought about it, and what else would you like to see in the ticket game mode aspect of the game? Yeah, so there was an idea on Reddit recently um, that I really liked. It was this person thought of, I forget what, the, what they called it. Uh, but it was something, it was sort of like a tournament, and it was like a one-on-one -on -one game mode. And I guess there was, what, eight people. It was a, supposed to be like a ticketed event. So it was only every once in a while. Eight people come in, it's all one-on-one, -on -one, and it's like a tournament. And what happens is, as before each round starts, there's like a wheel that spins, and it chooses the brawler that everyone plays. So like, say it picks Mortis. So everyone has to play Mortis for that round. And then it's just a one-on-one. -on -one, for a tournament and you just advance each person playing the same brawler and then it might change every round but it's just a one-on-one -on -one tournament to see you know who advances oh wow that that's awesome good. yeah i missed that post on reddit i'm gonna have to check it out tell you what we'll track it down put the link of that down in the description as well as coach Corey's channel obviously if you guys are going to check that out but yeah that sounds like definitely a good idea right there yeah i thought it sounded interesting 
get a little one on one going. A little yeah. tournament. Yeah, absolutely. A little a little brawler roulette tournament going. Yeah, because they couldn't get the free for all and showdown going really, so maybe this would be a little different take of a a different who's the last man standing. Yeah, absolutely. And I know they were talking about in the past how Showdown didn't really quite work out how they wanted due to teaming and things. And they're working on a new game mode that would provide what they wanted Showdown to provide. So maybe this is it. It could be, yeah. And then I guess another take on that maybe could be that I would, would be nice to see something like a multiple teams, like a two on two on two on two or something like that, or a three on three on three. Yeah, absolutely. That would be cool. Yeah, I agree with that. I always thought um, a 5v5 would get, be good as well. But if you get right. a 3-on-3-on-3, three on three on three, I think that would be better than the 2s. because, But then maybe too much chaos. I don't know. But I feel like 3 is a good amount of people to have for a team. Yeah, I, I feel like they might want to avoid the 5-on-5 five five just because I feel like you're getting into the more MOBA territory. And there are a lot of MOBAs that do 5-on-5 five five really well. And I'm not sure they'll be able to... Yeah, that, there in that sense. That is true. You got a good point there. So you were talking about star powers earlier and now. So what do you think of star powers in general? It sounds like you like them. You think they're one of the best things in the game um, or definitely one of the best new additions as far as the mm -hmm. update. Who do you think has the strongest star power as of right now? The strongest? Um, I might have to say Colts. With the I movement think, speed? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a little underrated. I mean, I don't think Colt's underrated, but his his the movement speed is huge. Just he does so much damage, and his ability making a guy who does that much damage be able to catch up to you really fast, get to the objective really fast, and then dodge your shots, I think is really strong. Yeah, I I agree with you 100%. He would definitely be at the top of my list. He actually is. And in case you guys want to check it out, link is right up there. Click on that little white banner. And star power number one was actually Colt, man. So nice. it's, yeah, it's insane. That movement speed is so good. Let you dodge the attacks, get in and out of there faster. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Which, you know, arguably one of the best brawlers already. Getting that star power right. seems a bit unfair. But hey, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, he's been nerfed a couple times recently, too, and it, you know, it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, he has. They've taken away, I think they took away some range on him this last nerf. Yeah, a small amount and a little bit of reload speed before that. But yeah. yeah, still still up there. Yeah, I don't know what you do to stop him. The only thing I think is, to, you know, take away damage, but if you do too much, then you kill him off. Yeah, you could reduce his movement speed a little. Yeah, but, but that kind of negate his star power, though, on the the opposite end of that. It would, yeah, I don't know. You'd have to change something, but... Agreed, agreed. Yeah. I'm, and they'll keep working on it. The, the Supercell Brawl Stars team, they always do a great job of, one, listening to feedback, and two, keeping the date up to game and keeping everyone happy. So I'm sure they'll address it in the agreed. future. Poor Colt, RIP, will get nerfed. <laughs> I'm sure. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. We definitely need to see it, because he's dominating. Heist right now, I mean, he, pretty much every game mode, he's every a must. Every game mode, yeah. Yeah. Outside of a boss brawl. That's pretty much the only one where it's like, and eh, we don't have yeah. to have Colt here. Yeah. So, global release. Now, just in general, how close do you think the game is to global release at this point? Well, I might be biased because I... Well, I guess we're all a little biased. We all want it to go global. But I feel like it's pretty close. I mean, I think it needs a couple things, right? It needs spectating and replays. Absolutely. I think that's for sure needed. And then I think it needs, I don't know if need is the best word, but I think so. I think it needs skins just because I'm still a little worried that they're not going to make the money they want to make on this game. Yeah, it's definitely a concern. I'm not sure if they're like, if they're okay with that, like if they're not worried about Brawlsters being a money maker, I mean, you know, Supercell has a lot of games that make a lot of money, so maybe they don't. But it takes a lot of work to make games that last, you know, a lot of, you know, half a dozen years. So I'm not sure if they're totally okay with that. So I think they need to montage a little more. Besides that, I think those are the most important things. I think there's some quality of life stuff you could add that would be nice. Um, like a better friend list. Something like that. Sure, yeah, yeah. And uh, band chat. Not band chat, but band mail. I think they need to add it as right. well. Band mail. I'm... Yeah, I think that's a small idea. There's some quality of life stuff you could add too. I don't know. That's what I think is needed. I'm guessing and I'm hoping it's next update. 
I'm not sure if that means that they're going to take a little bit more time with the update because it's going to be, you know, the biggest one yet as far as implications or not. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. I'm definitely saying it's going to be, in my opinion, once again, I mean, I have no inside information here, guys, so don't take my word for it. But I'm thinking it'll be the next date, next update or the update after because... I think, in my opinion, they may want to drop that Android APK a little bit early, right before it goes global, like maybe a week or two, and see what happens. But they may not. They may just, you know, go go global with Android and just, you know, they're like, okay, it works on iOS, it's going to work on Android, no big deal. Right. And, I mean, I guess it's also like, you know, how polished does it need to be? I mean, like, you can keep adding stuff that we want to add to the game, but that doesn't mean it's, you know, it's still a really good game. Yeah, absolutely. I see what you're saying. At, at what point is it ready to go global? And at what point can you just add those those quality of life and other additions later on? Right, exactly. Yeah. All right, so I've got one. Yeah, I got another question as far as updates and things. New brawlers. Do you think any more brawlers need to be added before it goes global? Or do you think we have enough right now? It should be fine. Um, do I think need to be? No, because I mean, if you think about if you're a new player to the game, right? Because that's what global is going to be. All those players, it's going to the features that they add to the game. Is it going to affect how a new player feels about the game? If you're adding in more brawlers, I mean, whether there's 19 brawlers or 20 brawlers or 21 or 22, they're probably not going to care or notice because they're not. It's going to take them a while to get the majority of those brawlers anyways. Sure. Yeah, so, I, I really don't think it matters. I mean, if you want to keep the beta players happy, maybe, but it's going to, you know, I, I don't think it's that important. If you're adding in new features anyways, that'll help them as well. All right. Well, I think that's a good idea, man. Personally, I would like to see brawlers, but I guess that's, I'm just stuck in beta mode. Like, I right. want to see it go global, but I'm at the yeah. point where, I, you know, I've just been playing every day. I'm just like, I want something. Give me something else, you know? Yeah, I think one new brawler would definitely keep the beta players happy. But that's, that's a band-aid, you know? Right. Yeah. I mean, just going global will, will fix some other things too. I mean, like, you know, you maybe you can uh, fix some more of the max, matchmaking issues then. Absolutely. The more people on there, the better. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I think, I think global definitely within the next couple updates is what I'm seeing, what I'm hoping for, along with those quality of life, you know, the replays, the spectating, mm -hmm. things like that, because it, it'll just be so much better for just the casual player who wants to, you know, kind of learn and watch replays from someone who's been playing the game longer and get tips and things like that to, mm -hmm. you know, content creators like ourselves who that will make our lives so much easier to have replays and spectating so we can, you know, do right. tournaments and just do commentary and things like that to a different degree. But mm -hmm. I, I definitely think they'll be adding those in the near future. And yeah, Corey, I appreciate you coming out. Is there anything else you want to say? Any other words or anything like that as far as Brawl Stars or anything in general? No, man. Thanks for having me on the channel. Hey, absolutely, man. Thank you for coming out again. I definitely appreciate it. And guys, if you are still here, you definitely know what to do. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and as always, keep on brawling.